going on guys? Jordan here with Universal. It's kind of like a different video. Most people don't talk about dieting for gaining weight, um, but that's kind of what I'm going over now. So I used to compete at the 242 weight class, or 110 kilos going up to 125 uh, since my last competition. So just kind of outline some staple foods uh, that I eat and why I eat it. Um, a big thing with dieting is a lot of people kind of uh, are starting to major in the minor um, where I kind of build out from a macronutrient standpoint first and then into micro um, after. Usually if you can catch catch your macronutrients and get those right, the micro kind of falls into place. Um, so even protein, carbs, and fat. Uh, from a density standpoint, gaining weight and kind of feeling good while you do it, you want to start incorporating more fats into your diet. Um, so something like incorporating fat in your meats, ribeye steak, or higher or lower percentage fat, or higher percentage fat in like ground beef. Um, but you don't want to rely on all your fat sources coming from red meat. Um, long term, there is a benefit, or there is a difference between how you source your macronutrients, whether it's how you source your carbs, how you source your protein, or how you source your fats. There's going to be like ancillary benefits to making smarter decisions on each uh, each macronutrient. Um, so the idea that a calorie is a calorie or a carb is a carb is, from a performance standpoint, it's a little short-sighted. Um, so something like ribeye steak or ground beef that's a little bit higher in fat content, but again, not really where I'm going to get uh, all my fats from. So kind of going like a like a healthier route, more omega threes in avocados and whole eggs, um, is going to offset kind of the the profile of of red meat a little bit, so I can get more calories in without as much food. So you'll Notice that there's not too many vegetables on the table. Well, there's no vegetables on the table. Uh, that's something you gotta watch because you don't wanna have so little vegetables that you actually start digesting things poorly. Um, but you don't wanna overload on vegetables as to have a lot of bulk in your diet um, and have to eat a lot of actual food to get calories in that way. So you wanna stick to denser foods and denser foods are usually gonna mean higher in fat. Um, and ideally lower in like processed carbohydrates. So protein, fat, more or less uh, covered. And then carb sources, go with what sits well in your stomach. I mean, if you have to eat a lot, you wanna be able to eat a lot and you don't wanna be too uncomfortable. So I found white rice, sweet potatoes, and cream of rice are kind of the easiest things for me. You don't have to worry about too much, too much sugar content. Um, you can kind of play around with timing. Uh, so pre-workout, I'll go something like cream of rice, and then later on in the day, um, or post-workout, potatoes or rice, and kind of just alternate in between. Stay away from anything, or I stay away from anything processed, um, bread, pasta, things like that. Um, so you can kind of throw all these in conjunction with pretty much every meal. Um, and then finally, just salt. Now, like there's kind of been a raise in popularity in salt lately. Um, it'd be something before you start adding excess salt into your diet, be sure to kind of screen for it if you're a good candidate for it. There can be some like genetic predispositions that adding too much salt to your diet can potentially be um, uh, not ideal. Some people just arbitrarily start adding it because they hear that it can be good for performance or that athletes don't get enough salt. Um, but again, make sure that you kind of do your diligence on on doing uh, like figuring out if you're a good candidate to be adding more salt in the diet. Like people feared it for a while, but I think as athletes, it's something that's really important. Um, I mean, the bottom line is it's not about what you eat, it's about what you absorb. Um, so kind of making food choices that uh, are gonna be geared towards the desired effects. So for me, it's actually gaining weight, which is not conventional. But the best way to do that is to figure out the most, or narrow that, just the, that dissonance between how much you're eating and how much you're absorbing to get as much out of what you eat. So you don't have to start putting back more and more calories arbitrarily that you're not really, um, you're not really retaining or utilizing in the right way. Um, so these are kind of just some of my staple foods um, that I've been using to go into the next weight class. Ch chicken's just a little bit leaner. Uh, I stick with red meat because it gets me a lot of the micronutrition. Um, there's a lot of creatine, a lot of iron. Um, so there's a lot of ancillary benefits in red meat. Um, again, amino acid profile is good. Actually most favorable in eggs. Um, so the protein you're gonna get in eggs is the most beneficial and when it comes to like putting on lean body mass um, but again it's just about getting foods that sit well with you so I mean this is just what I eat by no means like a recommendation of how you should eat but I think the takeaway would be standardize what you're eating just like you're training right like you don't want to you kind of know your maxes to know where you're gonna 
or how you're gonna load the bar from day to day. Like if you don't have a standard baseline to go off of, you don't know what changes are for the better or for the worse. If you change everything all at once, it's like, well, like what worked and what didn't. And then every time you look to make a change, you have to just change everything because nothing's standardized. This is a pretty distilled out approach after just years of kind of slowly just making minor changes at a time, figure out what works, what doesn't. Um, and this is more or less what I'm left with. And there's a little bit more to it than just what you see in front of you, but this is kind of the, this is kind of the gist of it. All right guys, so this is just like a brief overview of what works for me. I, I guess like the takeaway here should be, whatever your diet is, just make it standardized and then make alterations kind of in isolation so you know whether or not the changes you made are effective for you. Um, you know, diet can have very good effects but also really bad effects, so you gotta make sure that you take that into consideration before you embark on either losing a lot of weight or in my case, uh, gaining a amount of weight. You, the whole point is to try and do it like as safely as, as you can. Um, but having like a standardized benchmark, like a starting point, um, based off what works for you and then just making minor changes to, to be able to monitor your progress, to know where you go wrong when, when you plateau and how you can make changes moving forward towards whatever your goal is. Um, so if you like the video, like the video. Um, make sure you subscribe to University USA on YouTube and follow us on social media.